Well, good evening. This is uh, Good Friday, and uh, I know it's a little bit different than what we normally do, uh, but we wanted to offer this as a way to uh, really reflect on what Jesus did for us on the cross and the meaning of the cross uh, in, in full depth uh, of what Scripture says about this moment. And so we just wanted you to have a piece of this, whether just even because you're not here, it's okay. We're, we just wanted you to uh, have uh, this service to be able to hold on to as we head toward uh, the empty tomb on Easter Sunday. So we will have an Easter service like we've been having on the weekends and invite you to that. It will be available after uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. And so I invite you to uh, get your family around uh, the TV or the computer or however how you're watching it uh, or, or yourself and uh, just take it all in as best you can. Uh, this is a hard time, and because we don't have the ability to be able to come together and worship on such a great Sunday, a, a grand Sunday, a celebratory Sunday, uh, we can still together uh, worship the resurrection of our Lord, uh, even though we're apart. And so um, I invite you to that and uh, look forward to that. Uh, and we'll have a couple of surprises for you uh, with regards to that. So tonight, uh, the service will be uh, projected on the screen, and there will be uh, parts where the congregation responds, and they are noted uh, on the screen. And so we invite you to participate in this. Uh, wherever there's a responsive reading, we just invite you to uh, be a part of that as best as you can. And so we, we begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is the night, this is the time that we come to the cross, quietly, in the dark, with heavy hearts. For the last 40 days, we have contemplated our sinful lives and our need for a Savior. Tonight, we are reminded of the suffering pain, and agony that Jesus endured for each one of us. As we move through this service, candles will be gradually extinguished and lights will be dimmed. Tenenbrae, the name of this service, is the Latin word for darkness or shadows. And how appropriate that as we listen to the Scripture about the death of Christ, we sit in almost complete darkness. The Paschal candle, which represents Jesus, is carried out and hidden, showing the apparent victory of evil over good. A piece of cloth is torn to signify the curtain being torn in two at Jesus' death. And a loud noise is heard, symbolizing the closing of the tomb. We then leave in silence in our hearts and in our minds. We begin. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, by the way of the cross, Lord, have mercy. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, by the nails and thirst, Christ, have mercy. Jesus Christ, the light of the world, by the blood that stained the holy cross, Lord, have mercy. Come, let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before Him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and now He sits at the right hand of the throne of God. Dear friends, we have come together at this solemn moment in the life of the church to reflect on the sufferings of our Lord in His last days and to dwell on our own shortcomings and human failings 
Our hearts are great with sorrow and contrition as we pray forgiveness for the heirs of our foolish and arrogant ways. The darkness covers us all, and our spirits are brought low. Come then, let us walk in the shadows. Come then, let us seek the light. Responsive reading from Isaiah 53. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that brought us peace. And with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. The watch. Then Jesus went with them to the place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, sit here while I go over there and pray. And taking with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch with me. And going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. And he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The Spirit is indeed willing But the flesh is weak. Again, for the second time, he went away and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words again. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Sleep and take your rest later on. See, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. A responsive reading from Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. The Betrayal, a reading from St. Matthew chapter 27. While he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a great crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man, seize him. And he came to Jesus, came up to Jesus at once and said, Greetings, Rabbi. And he kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you came to do. 
Then they came up and laid hands on Jesus and seizing him. And behold, one of those who were with Jesus stretched out his hand and drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and He will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then should the Scriptures be fulfilled that it must be so? At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But all this has taken place that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples left him and fled. A responsive reading from Psalm 6. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am languishing. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who will give you praise? The Lord has heard my supplication the Lord will receive my prayer. The denial. Taken from St. Matthew chapter 26. Then those who had seized Jesus led him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the scribes and the elders had gathered. And Peter was following him at a distance as far as the courtyard of the high priest and was Going inside, and going inside, he sat with the guards to see the end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were seeking false testimony against Jesus that they might put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This man said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. And the high priest stood up and said, have you no answer to make? What is it that these men testify against you? But Jesus remained silent. And the high priest said to him, I adjure you by the living God, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, you have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his robes and said, He has uttered blasphemy. What further witnesses do we need? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your judgment? They answered, He deserves death. Then they spit in his face and struck him, and some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Christ, who is it that struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard, and a servant girl came up to him and said, You also were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before them all, saying, I do not know what you mean. And when he went out to the entrance, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. And again he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you too are one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to invoke a curse on himself and to swear, I do not know the man. And immediately the rooster crowed. And Peter remembered the saying of Jesus, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly.
a response of reading from Psalm 102. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. <clears throat> the guilt taken from St. Matthew chapter 27. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate, the governor. Then when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he changed his mind and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They said, what is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver into the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. Responsive reading from Psalm 32. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the one against whom the Lord counts no iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. Many are the sorrows of the wicked, but steadfast love surrounds the one who trusts in the Lord. The judgment taken from St. Luke chapter 23. And Herod and Pilate became friends with each other that very day, for before this they had been at enmity with each other. Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers and the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was misleading the people. And after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of any of your charges against him, neither did Herod, for he sent him back to us. Look, nothing deserving death has been done by him. I will therefore punish and release him. But they all cried out together, away with this man, and release to us Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection, started in the city and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus, but they kept shouting, crucify, crucify him. A third time he said to them, why, what evil has he done? I have found in him no guilt deserving death. I will therefore punish and release him. But they were urgent, demanding with loud cries that he should be crucified. And their voices prevailed. So Pilate decided that their demand should be granted. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, for whom they asked. But he delivered Jesus over to their will. A responsive reading from Psalm 143. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my pleas for mercy. In your faithfulness answer me, in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for no one living is righteous before you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. 
the crucifixion, taken from St. Luke chapter 23. And as they led him away, they seized one Simon of Cyrene, who was coming in from the country, and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. And there, following him, a great multitude of the people of the, and of women who were mourning and lamenting for him. But turning to them, Jesus said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if they do these things when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place that is called the skull, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And they cast lots to divide his garments. Responsive reading from Psalm 38. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a heavy burden. They are too heavy for me. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. All the day I go about mourning. I am feeble and crushed. I groan because of the tumult of my heart. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, it also has gone from me. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O my God, be not far from me. The commendation, taken from St. Luke chapter 23. One of the criminals who were hanged railed at him, saying, Are you not the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we are receiving the due reward of our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, Today, you will be with me in paradise. Now, it, it was now the, about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed.
responsive reading from Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. O Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my pleas for mercy. If you, O Lord, sh should mark iniquities, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, that you may be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning, more than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is plentiful redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. A reading from St. Luke, chapter 23. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, when the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. It is finished. The deed is done. Salvation is won. Go in peace and serve the Lord. <laughs>